Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kieran Furlong, co-founder of Realtor Fusion, along with uh, Professor Kerry Forrest, who's here. Give us a wave, Kerry. Uh, a Prior Wharf Innovation Award nominee. Realtor is an early stage startup spinning out from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, developing the lowest capital and least complex path to fusion energy, to commercially competitive fusion energy. So why, you ask, might you care about that? Well, let's start with the biggest problem facing all of us today, climate change, because we aim to play a large role in solving it. We're laser focused on getting to a first commercial fusion plant by targeting the need for low carbon industrial process heat. So let's put that need in context. Over 80% of our primary global energy supply still comes from fossil fuels. And even best case projections for a net zero future still have that shared over 70% in the 2030s. And that's why we continue to grow our global energy needs. So while transportation tends to get most visibility, if we want to arrest climate change, we really need to focus in on industrial energy use. So ener uh, industry consumes almost half of our global energy and two thirds of that are actually used to generate process heat. So the world absolutely needs an alternative source of high quality heat to tackle climate change. So where are we going to get that? Well, let's look to the sun. Now some of you might be thinking solar. Well, that's you know probably what you're thinking is not what we're thinking here. We're thinking about the reactions that power the sun, which is fusion. So we're, we will aim to harness fusion reactions here on Earth. Quick primer on fusion, as it might be new to some of you. But essentially what we do is we heat two different isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium, to extremely high temperatures to get them to fuse together and produce helium and neutron and a lot of energy. Uh, just a few grams of these isotopes would provide each of you here with literally a lifetime's worth of energy. So we believe fusion is the solution. However, current fusion projects are taking too long, they're too capital intensive and are too complex. Realta is developing a reactor, the Hammer, that will be a much better fit in terms of time, capital, uh, and risk for the early adoption of fusion energy. We're applying advances in um, superconducting materials, plasma physics, and computing power to a simpler linear fusion configuration. This is a high magnetic field compact tandemer reactor consisting of two very high field end plugs, which you can see highlighted in red here, on either end of a central cell plasma that can be expanded modularly for increases in power output. Our overarching aim is to build the first of its kind fusion energy plant. Therefore, we're extremely focused on finding the ideal combination of application and partner to build plant number one. While grid scale electrical power generation is part of our long-term plan, we believe the first plant will be for industrial process heat. For example, we're exploring the refining and petrochemicals market. The, process, the, the energy used for process heat in the chemicals industry is a market in the tens of billions of dollars. How many tens of billions depends upon kind of the daily price of natural gas, which typically sets the, sets the scene. And also the players in this market are attractive to us because they're you know, really deep in engineering capability and are used to the large CapEx projects which this will require. So we think they'll be able to successfully deploy a fusion energy plant. Uh, if we look at you know, costs, there's always the concerns with novel energy sources. Well, is this going to be twice the cost of what we're currently using? So an independent estimate of the cost at scale for our energy has put it at $7 a million BTU. Don't worry about the unit, it's just what they use. Right now in the US, the average for this month has actually been around $8.70. So we're all, you know, this would already be competitive with current uh, energy prices. And that's here in the US where we've got cheap gas because of the shale boom. Uh, if you're looking at importing LNG to the EU or spot Asian markets, we're well below what those markets are paying for for energy. Burning fossil fuels to generate all of this process heat also emits huge amounts of carbon dioxide, so one gigaton of CO2. Uh, to put that in context, that's equivalent to the total CO2 emissions of the UK, France and Italy combined. So if we can come up with an alternative source of heat that works for industry, we can decarbonize, for example, the chemical industry and have a material impact on gl global greenhouse gas emissions. We're assembling a team of experienced innovators, each of whom bring a necessary piece of the puzzle we're solving. Kerry over here is our technical lead and has deep experience in plasma physics. I, Kieran Furlong, have a background in the chemical industry and have spent the last 15 years in clean tech startups and venture capital, bringing new sustainable technologies to market. Jay 
um, specializes in plasma heating and stability. Ben brings blanket design experience from next generation fission reactors. And Oliver is at the cutting edge of plasma facing materials technology. As we identify the initial application, we'll build out and expand this team with experts from those fields. Our technology development plan has three main phases, and we're in the first of those right now, which is our WAM machine. Um, with the learnings from our initial WAM machine and the successful demonstration of our novel magnets and heating systems, we'll move in to demonstrate deuterium tritium steady state operation in phase two. In the third phase, we'll build the first end plug of a semi commercial scale reactor and progress to the full tandem Mur hammer. All of this is directed towards developing a fusion technology that's right sized for private sector adoption. In short, reducing size and simplifying reactors will make fusion more viable. WAM 1.0 is funded by RPE with support from WARF, University of Wisconsin-Madison and Commonwealth Fusion Systems. We anticipate raising 80 to 100 million over the next two to three years, uh, matching our capital raises to significant risk reduction milestones. We will be raising our seed round later this year, so any of the investors in the room, happy to take a card or talk to you about that if you're interested. In summary, less complexity, less capital, and therefore less risk. This is real to fusion. Thank you.